We just got our Samsung refrigerator with Flex Zone. I want to show you what it's all about. Let's take a look. When the refrigerator arrived, all of the drawers and shelving had some packaging materials. So first thing, I took all of that stuff off and used a damp, warm washcloth to wipe everything down. And then I dried it completely as well before putting everything back. I don't use anything harsh or any detergents on it. We just wanna make sure everything stays in good condition and doesn't get scratched or damaged. So let's take a look inside. Each door has three shelves and they are adjustable with these spots here. And this other door has the refillable water pitcher, which is automatic once you put it in. And it's got a smaller shelf and two large shelves as well. And they are adjustable here for the small one. This pitcher can be removed and there is an infuser inside. You can add tea or fruit to that. Just make sure when you're cleaning it that you use warm water, not hot, or it might melt. Make sure you keep it nice and clean. And as you can see, it's got a sensor here to know that it's full and it won't overflow. If it detects overflowing, it'll let you know too and it'll stop the water as well. Here we have two crisper drawers. This one is crisper plus. This is Flex Crisper, and apparently you can change this to two settings, either the same um, temperature as the refrigerator or meat or fish temperature. So that is an option, and you can change that here in these settings. We've got three drawer, or three shelves, rather. This one you can push to allow more space for taller items here, or keep it a full shelf. And it also attaches to this shelf here with a little snapping area. It just snaps right into there. Let's take a look at the freezer. The freezer has the flex zone option. This option here means that this side can remain a freezer. This is the side with the ice. And this side here can become a refrigerator if you need it for that purpose. Or it can stay as a freezer. You can change that in the settings on the refrigerator as well. And I love that here on the freezer, it comes with some shelves to put various items and a drawer for both sides and all of these do pull out as well for easier access to food in the back. The ice drawer also pulls out and you can see that there are two types of ice, ice bites and cubed ice and it does come with a scoop and this part here is removable as well on both sides. These are also removable and you can use that as a drawer too if you turn off the ice. This one here is also a drawer and this one too. So all these shelves here pull out, which is great. More shelving on this door too. All of the settings in this refrigerator can be adjusted on this display here, including the ice maker, the temperatures for everything. And also you can turn on smart grid mode, which allows the refrigerator to respond to signals from the electric company to make sure that it's not doing the extra controlling of the refrigerator during peak times. The electric company sends a response and the refrigerator will um, respond to that response. You can also do peak mode, which will ignore those signals as well. So if there's a time that you need it not to um, change the function of the refrigerator at all, then you can definitely do that. And there's also a Sabbath mode and that turns off all of the lights for a period of time. You can turn that on or off as needed. And the alarm, when it signals after five minutes, when that goes off, it will tell you with a signal that you can hear audibly. And also the lights will flash. And that helps people who are hard of hearing or deaf to know that the refrigerator is left open. And that is a normal function. Also, when you do start to cool your fridge when you receive it, you may hear a low whirring sound. That's just the fan and everything getting the refrigerator up to temp, totally normal. Once it reaches its desired temperature, that will stop and you won't hear that sort of low whirring sound as loud. You might still hear a very, very low sound and I'll let you hear that here. But it's very, very quiet compared to the other one when it's first getting turned on. We are really excited to get started using this. I hope this helped if you are looking at one as well. And if you'd like, you can subscribe to see more. And thank you so much for watching.